Hey y'all, it's Chelsea, AKA The Real Chelsea J, and I'm here to keep it real with you. In today's video, we will be doing a story time, so stay tuned. Hey y'all, so, today's video, we're about to do a story time. A little, you know, you already know a little bit about me from my videos, who I am, my name, of course, um, that I live in LA. And yeah, so I'm about to get into a story time, but uh, shout out to Trader Joe's dark chocolate covered espresso beans. They are so good. They're so good when you're craving them. Yeah, so yeah, mm. boom. Mm. I'm like, where do I even begin with this story? In the beginning, what was they say? What they say that some people be saying? Oh. Long story short, <laughs> that would be scandalous if I uh, said story time and then um, it was only like one minute and I said bye. Like, that would be shady. That's not even throwing shade to anybody's. Mm. But yeah. So, today's story time is about when I first moved out here and I didn't realize that I went to go volunteer on skid row y'all yeah. so basically there was like this viral tiktok of a, a homeless day party and i was like okay this sound hella cool like a homeless day party i've never heard of anything like that and the video was really cool it's like they had bottle girls but they weren't bottle girls they were like handing out roses and had like large signs and they were feeding homeless giving them haircuts free clothes you know free food and i was like oh yeah I definitely want to be involved in this. So then I DM the person who made that video and they were like, yeah, of course, we're actually having one coming up for Easter. I was like, perfect. So then Easter rolls around and I, mind y'all, I don't really drive in LA like that. I mostly take the bus, public transportation, or my cousin drives and she just drives me to wherever. So, or I take an Uber. So I don't really know LA. I'm just, you know, going with the flow. I'm like, ooh, 30 minutes of traffic. I got a fire playlist. I'm listening to music. I'm, you know, rolling around, looking around, looking around. Boom. I get off the freeway. I find, you know, where the location is. Now, it's in front of this liquor store, and it looks like there's no parking. So I'm like, man, I got to find parking. And, you know, parking in L.A. If you know, you know. Again, shout out to the espresso beans, y'all. Because it's going to help me espresso myself. Espresso. <laughs> Okay, so that was such a fake laugh that disturbed me. Mm. But the expressor beans, I feel like they're giving me energy to really have you feel what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So, boom. I'm looking at where the day party is. I'm seeing everybody. I'm already a little bit late, so I'm like, dang. Now I gotta find parking. And I'm driving around. There's no spots. Like, none at all. I'm driving around, it's like five minutes. Now it's ten minutes. And also where, like, the streets are, they're so crowded. Like, there's just, everything is everywhere. It's like a street market or something. I, I don't know. So, I'm just walking. I'm, I'm not walking. I'm driving. I'm looking. It's another 10 minutes. 20, 15 minutes. 20 minutes. Because I done looped around hella times. Looped around lots of times. So, then, boom. I find a spot. But it's so suspicious. <laughs> Y'all, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's sus. Because there's a tent right in front of it. And I'm like, nah, bro. Like, this ain't even my car. Something can happen to it. Like, I'm not finna park right there. So, I end up, instead of, because I kept going left, I decided to go right. And when I turned right, there was hella tents on one street. And, like, a guy was on, like, you know, one of them scooters. He was going hella fast. I mean, super fast. And... He like almost hit the car. I was like, oh, uh-uh. And in the back of my head, I was like, wow, all these tents, it kind of reminds me of Skid Row. But I was like, I don't know. So I kept driving because I'm so fixated on finding a parking spot. And because I was already so late, I was just like, I need to find a parking spot and I need to get there and help. So I drive around. I end up finding a parking garage. 
I go to the parking garage and mind you it's Easter I'm gonna show y'all some pictures and stuff so you can really get a feel of what it looked like but I had on my little I had two little ears for um you know Easter like a bunny and then I also had a bunny hat I mean a bunny headband so I look really cute I was really feeling myself I even got these uh playboy bunny pants that have uh bunnies on them on the pants so I was looking real cute I was like oh my god I'm about to go you know help homeless out I'm gonna have a good day because one thing you learn about me or you can know about me is that I love serving people I literally I just love helping people so I thought this was a great opportunity also just to like be somewhere that I haven't like I haven't really volunteered out here so it's really great so boom I get there I see dude that I seen that I was in, uh, messaging um I'm like hi how are you he was like I'm doing good and then he was like uh do you know how to dance that's the first question I was like no I was like uh-uh no 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 I was like put me somewhere easy so he's like okay yeah just go over there where the food is they had a little Caesar pizza right and there was a girl right next to me and I was like, hi, my name is Chelsea. Like, how are you doing? Like, how did you find out about this bitch? She was telling me like, whoop de woo she's from here and her name. And then as I'm serving the pizza, y'all, I look across the street of that liquor store I was telling y'all over the corner. The corner say Skid Row. I think it say Skid Row Market. I look at her, I tap her on her shoulder. I say, is this Skid Row? <laughs> she laughs. She's like, yes. Yes, this is Skid Row. I said, oh my God. Wow. So, the whole time I knew I was there, but I didn't know I was there, y'all. So I'm just shook at this point. Am I like, I'm not really, uh, no, I, I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't afraid of homeless. You never know what homeless people. And that's not even to judge nobody's life or anything like that. But you know what I'm saying? Some of them be crazy. So it wasn't like I was like, oh my gosh, clutching everything that I have. I was just like, let me take a double take, you know what I'm saying? Let me look at my surroundings a little bit harder. Because now I know where I'm at. Because, you know, I heard about Skid Row. And it wasn't good things, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. whoop de whoop She told me about that. So, now I know I'm working on Skid Row. I'm serving the pizza. It's going well. Like, some people, you know, of course, they're saying well, there were two people, but it's one. I'm serving the people. It's going really well. Um, We ran out of pizza, so I end up uh working the clothing station that was really nice they actually someone donated a pair of jordans and the guy handed them out to somebody which was really nice um they had dancers they had a live dj and i was just hand handing out clothes people were asking for certain styles they even had free drinks free haircuts i ended up meeting this like little boy who was so sweet and so kind his name was jordan he was like hanging out with me the whole time it was really cute and then towards the end, y'all, it was such a dope uh, event. Besi you know, there was no really bad parts to it. Just me discovering where it was because, again, I'm not from out here. But it was so cool. Like, um, they had, like, some street dancers. Like, they stopped the whole the whole street. And, like, they danced. They did, like, some, like, it was some sick moves, y'all. It was, it was so dope. I think I might have some videos. I'll, I'll show y'all. But it, it, it's real cool. They even had, like, a celebrity come out. Um on top of that what was the other thing and came by and it started throwing out money y'all throwing out money and everybody just scattered to the street it was crazy and then they all grabbed the money um but yeah all in all y'all i found out i was working on skid row i was working on skid row and also on my way back so the event finished it was like a couple hours after it was over i realized when i was walking from the to the parking garage i realized dang I am passing hella tents. There was just hella tents. So I'm passing them. I'm looking like, you know, looking around. Cause I'm like, uh, uh. One of my biggest thing is, I'm not finna die. I'm not going out like that. Mm mm. Not serving the people. No, today's not my uh period. It's a comma. Thank you very much. So yeah, I ended up uh, ending the day. There was a restaurant I went to try, and it actually was out there. A beautiful life. It was a, uh, I want to say Jamaican or. Nigerian I don't know but it was a restaurant it actually was pretty good the only thing was I was eating the spicy uh ribs and it literally the wrap rib sauce got in my eye and I couldn't see to the point where I had to hold my eye and go to the restroom and rinse it out it was real bad um but the food was pretty good and I got a little um cocktail and then uh I ended up you know leaving from there went 
went on the best uh the rest of my day so yeah that's my story about me volunteering on skid row so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed watching it uh watching me talk about my story time and listening to me about it uh thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe bye